One thing I told these young ladies, and it's actually really important, it's something we kind of started focusing in when we were still in Colorado Springs with the national team, working with a fitness, uh, I'm going to call him guru, who ended up working with the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning hockey team, and actually they won that following year the Stanley Cup, is core, right? We hear a lot about it from Pilates to ab work to all that kind of stuff. But all sports, and especially volleyball, where our knees and ankles and shoulders are so vulnerable, knees to shoulders, knees to shoulders. If this is strong, and I'm not talking, you have to look like you're on the cover of Men's Health Strong. Uh, everyone knows, I mean, six pack, one pack, no pack, whatever. Being strong, being secure here, all right, keeps our movement tight and efficient, keeps our back strong, and allows us to use all our muscle memory in our, in, in, our, in our body to get the ball where we want it to go, as opposed to being all loosey-goosey in the midsection and the ball coming out the exact same way, loosey-goosey. All right, so that's one thing I was telling these girls right here. This is just emulating rotations three and four, or we talked about it yesterday, a lot of times in blocking schemes, we'll switch. All right, if I can't block a ball on the right side, I'll send someone over there, I'll go block left side. They set right side, I got transition from uh, left front. All that stuff should be practiced during the summer. So one, you guys don't have to mess with it during the season, and two, they're prepared to set the ball, whether it be side out or transition, from any situation during any example during a game.